Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Fun with English, Grade 4, Book 4A. I am Sakina Kankuni. I will present Episode 3 from Unit 3, Animal Kingdom. We will focus on vocabulary and grammar. Let's go back to your previous homework and check your answers. You had the homework on your people's book, page 50. Read and then answer the questions. Let's check your answers together. Number 1. What is the story about? It is about wild animals. What is the hottest place in the world? The desert is the hottest place. Number 3. What does the lizard do to hide? It changes its color to hide. Number 4. Which animal hasn't got legs but can move very fast? The answer is the snake. Alright boys and girls, now let's start with the new vocabulary. Listen carefully. Cheetah, 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 cheetah is a noun. Look at the picture. I can see a cheetah. Now let's use the word cheetah in a sentence. The cheetah is a wild animal. The cheetah is a wild animal. Can you use the word cheetah in a sentence? I'm sure you can. Next we have the word spotted. 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 Repeat after me please. Spotted. Spotted. One last time. Spotted. Excellent job boys and girls. Spotted is an adjective which means it has dots or spots. Let's use it in a sentence. Cheetahs are spotted animals. Cheetahs are spotted animals. Great job boys and girls. Next we have the word runner. 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 Look at the picture and repeat after me. Runner. 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 Great job, boys and girls. Let's use the word runner in a sentence. My brother is a runner. He has got a gold medal in the running race. Again, my brother is a runner. He has got a gold medal in the running race. Our next vocabulary for today is speedy. 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 Again, speedy. Repeat after me, please. Speedy. Speedy. Good job, boys and girls. Speedy is an adjective, which means move very quickly. Speedy means moving very quickly. Let's use it in a sentence. A cheetah is a speedy runner. A cheetah is a speedy runner. Our next word for today is hunt. 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 Can you say it with me? Hunt. 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 Great job, boys and girls. Hunt is the present form of the verb hunt. And the past form of the verb hunt is hunted. 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 Repeat after me, please. Hunted. 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 Excellent job, boys and girls. Hunted or hunt is a verb. Let's use the word hunt in a sentence. My father likes hunting. He hunts birds. My father likes hunting. He hunts birds. Again, hunt or hunted is a verb. Next, we have the word heavy. Heavy, heavy. Look at the picture and repeat after me. Heavy, heavy. Heavy is an adjective. Let's use the word heavy in a sentence. I can't carry this bag. It's heavy. I can't carry this bag. It's heavy. All right, boys and girls. Next, we have the word light. Light, light. Say it with me, please. Light, light. Repeat one more time. Light. Great job, boys and girls. Light is an adjective. And the opposite of the word light is heavy. 
heavy is the opposite of the word light. Light is an adjective. Let's use the word light in a sentence. This box is very light. I can easily carry it. Again, this box is very light. I can easily carry it. Remember, boys and girls, light is an adjective and the opposite of the word light is heavy. All right, boys and girls, that's all with the vocabulary. Now let's practice. I want you to choose the correct answer from A, B, C, and D. Read the sentence and choose the correct answer. Number one, follow with me while I'm reading the sentence with you. Cheetahs, space, gazelles, and small animals. Cheetahs, space, gazelles, and small animals. A, dance, B, fill, C, hunt, or D, sting. Again, A, dance, B, fill, C, hunt, or D, sting. What do you think, boys and girls? Which one is the right answer? That's right. The answer is C, hunt. Cheetahs hunt gazelles and small animals. Great jobs, boys and girls. Well done, boys and girls. Now, let's look at number two. This pillow is very space. A, dangerous. B, light. C, speedy. Or D, fast. Again, this pillow is very space. Is it A, dangerous, B, light, C, speedy, or D, fast? What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. The answer is B, light. This pillow is very light. Great job, boys and girls. Now, let's move on to another part of this episode, which is grammar. Remember, boys and girls, the subject I goes with am. He, she, it takes is. You, we, they takes are. Again, I will take am. He, she, it takes is. You, we, and they takes are. Our grammar for today is the present continuous. Let's read the sentence together. I am brushing my teeth. I am brushing my teeth. The subject is I. We have verb to be am. Then we have the verb brush plus ing, brushing, my teeth. Again, boys and girls, we have the subject I, and I takes the verb to be am. Plus brush with ing becomes brushing, and my teeth is the rest of the sentence. Let's look at the rule. The rule for the present continuous is subject, plus verb to be, plus verb with ing, and the rest of the sentence. Again, boys and girls, let's study the rule. Subject, plus verb to be, plus verb with ing, plus rest of the sentence. All right, boys and girls. Now, let's study more examples. Look at this example. I am playing tennis now. I am playing tennis now. I have the subject I and I takes am in the verb to be. Play is the verb and because it is present continuous I have to add ing to the verb. I am playing tennis now. Tennis now is the rest of the sentence and the word now tells me that the action is continuous. So I have to use ing with the verb. Let's look at another example. Look at the picture. What's he doing? He is watching TV now. He is watching TV now. Remember, boys and girls, the subjects he, she, it takes is, takes the form of verb to be is. He is watching TV now. Watch is the verb. And because it is in the present continuous tense, I have to add ing. So watch becomes watching. He is watching TV now. Again, now is the word that shows me or tells me that the tense is in continuous, present continuous form. He is watching TV now. What about this example? Look at the picture. What are they doing? 
Yes, that's right. They are reading stories now. They are reading stories now. We have the subject they. Remember, boys and girls, they, we, and you. Takes are. Takes the verb to be are. They are reading. Read is the verb. And I have to add ing because it is in the present continuous tense. They are reading stories now. Now is the word that tells me the sentence is in the present continuous action. What about the negative form of present continuous? Let's read the sentence. I am not brushing my teeth. I am not brushing my teeth. If I want to make a present continuous sentence negative, I have to use not. I have to add not after verb to be. I is the subject, am is verb to be, and we have to add not to make the sentence negative. Brush is the verb, and I have to add ing because it is in the present continuous tense. My teeth is the rest of the sentence. Again, boys and girls, I am not brushing my teeth. Let's study the rule. Subject plus verb to be plus not plus the verb with ing plus rest of the sentence. Again, subject plus verb to be plus not plus verb with ing plus rest of the sentence. Let's read these examples. I am not playing tennis now. I am eating now. I am not playing tennis now. Okay? I have the subject I, verb to be am, and not because it is negative. Play is the verb with ing becomes playing because it is present continuous tense. I am not playing tennis now. Again, now tells me that the tense is present continuous. Or I can make the sentence in the short form. I am not playing tennis now becomes I'm not playing tennis now. Again, I am not playing tennis now or I'm not playing tennis now. What about this example? He is not watching TV now. He is not watching TV now. He is standing with a picture. He is not watching TV now. Or I can make it in the short form, he isn't watching TV now. He isn't watching TV now. We have the subject he and verb to be is plus not to make it negative. We have the verb watch. We added ing because it is in the present continuous tense. He isn't watching TV now. Again, now tells me that the sentence is in the present continuous form. All right, boys and girls. Now let's look at another example. They are not reading stories now. They are not reading stories now. What are they doing? They are playing now. They are not reading stories now. We have the subject they, the verb to be are, not for the negative. Read is the verb and I have added ing because I have the present continuous tense. Stories now is the rest of the sentence. And now is the word which shows me and tells me that the sentence is in the present continuous tense. They are not reading stories now. And the short form for are not is aren't. They aren't reading stories now. They aren't reading stories now. Great job, boys and girls. Now let's have some more practice. Look at the picture and try to answer me. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's right. I am cooking. I am cooking. I have to change the verb to be are because I am using I in the answer. So I have to change are into am because I changed the subject. In the question, the subject was what are you? The subject was you. So that's why I used in the question verb to be are. But in the answer, because I answered with I, so I have to change verb to be to am. I am cooking now. In the question, 
I used R because I have the subject U and in the answer because I answered with I so I have to change verb to be from R to am. I am cooking now. I is the subject, am is the verb to be and cook is the verb and ing because it is the present continuous tense. What about this question? What is he doing? What is he doing? I have the subject he so I have to answer with he. That's right. He is painting. He is painting. Great job, boys and girls. He is the subject. Is is the verb to be. And paint is the verb. I added ing because it is present continuous tense. What are they doing? What are they doing? That's right. They are having a picnic. They are having a picnic. Great job, boys and girls. Now, write what they are doing look at the picture and write what they are doing he space homework remember to use verb to be and verb plus ing he is doing homework that's right he is doing homework what about number two what they are doing great job boys and girls they are riding bikes they are riding bikes what about this one? She space in the park. She space in the park. Well done. She is walking in the park. She is walking in the park. All right. Now choose the correct answer. Sami and his family are travel, traveling, travel to Paris. They were, are, am flying in a plane now. Sami watching, watched, is watching a movie on the plane. What do you think, boys and girls? That's right. Sami and his family are traveling to Paris. They are flying in a plane now. And Sami is watching a movie on the plane. That's right. Well done, boys and girls. You have a homework on your workbook, page 20. Complete the following sentences using am, is, or are. I will do the first one with you. Look, the man is wearing a cap. Look, the man is wearing a cap. Don't forget to use the correct form of verb to be to complete your sentences. All right, boys and girls, we've reached to the end of this episode. In this episode, we learned how to use new vocabulary in meaningful sentences and how to use the present continuous in meaningful sentences as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next episode. Goodbye for now.